Good morning. I hope you're having a lovely day. So today we're in Ireland. We took a trip over, took a ferry, came over. We left out of Liverpool, came into Dublin, and that's where we are right now. And we're about to start a wonderful Ireland road trip. We got the family all up, ready to go. So as you guys know, every time we like to start out a trip, we start with Costa, which Blair is picking up right now. We're heading up to the Giants Causeway. It's about 254 kilometers from where we are now in Dublin. And we're gonna circle back all around. This trip is not gonna make sense if you're thinking about directions as far as which place is closer. We're not going by what's closer. We're going by the sites that we wanna see the most and we're just gonna cross. We don't care, we're gonna crisscross this island as much as we have to. But the first place up is the Giants Causeway and everything close by. So we have a nice drive ahead of us this morning and Blair's picking up the Costa and we're about ready to go. Just had to gas up 102 euros to fill this vehicle up. Whew, that's pricey. Yep, I still found Costa. Here's your sandwich. Although located on the island of Ireland, Northern Ireland is a part of the United Kingdom and is a separate country from the Republic of Ireland. We're at the Giant's Causeway. We're in Northern Ireland. Took us a nice ride to get up here. Beautiful scenery, beautiful countryside. But we're here now. This is one of the places I wanted to see the most in Ireland, but actually Northern Ireland. I wanted to get up here to see the Giant's Causeway. Let me show you what I'm talking about, why we made the three hour trek up from Dublin just to see this location. The Giant's Causeway designated a World Heritage Site 1986. about weathering and erosion. Yeah. So what other kind of rocks did you learn about? Um, limestone, basalt, sandstone. Okay. These look really cool. They look like steps. They do look like steps. What? Stepping stones. Daddy, they look like steps. So this is it. This is the Giant's Causeway. These beautiful basalt columns that actually come from a lava flow, I think about 50 million years ago. It created this basalt columns that have this beautiful, it appears to be one, two, three, four, five, six, I think it's hexagonal sided. Count them for me. 
Yep. Is it, six or five? it appeared to be five. Pentagon and hexagon sided stone columns, and they're all over the place here. The Giant's Causeway is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and consists of about 40,000 interlocking basalt columns. Most of the columns are hexagonal, although there are some that are four, five, seven, or even eight sided. As one of the most popular tourist attractions in Northern Ireland, the Giant's Causeway receives about a million visitors a year. Access to the causeway is free of charge. As we arrived after closing hours for the visitor center, we simply took the path down to the causeway and enjoyed all of the sites independently. The name for the giant's causeway is derived from a legend that states that the causeway was built by a giant. The legend states that an Irish giant was challenged to a fight by a Scottish giant, and the Irish giant accepted the challenge and built the causeway so that the two could meet. Across the sea, there are identical basalt columns on the Scottish island of Staffa, which definitely supports the legend. Did you hear me? Maybe. Keep going. So this has been our day at the Giants Causeway. It has been wonderful. Really enjoyed the day. Northern Ireland is beautiful. We took a scenic route as we cut across Northern Ireland and I can tell you it's absolutely beautiful. Stunning countryside with the rolling hills and the sheep and the stone fences. And it was just a wonderful, wonderful experience. Today, this has been our joy to be at the Giants Causeway. I'm not sure what our fascination is with seaside, but a lot of the places that we've traveled to have been along the ocean seaside. And they're wonderful to approach because you walk down these beautiful, stunning cliffs to get to them. And then after you've enjoyed the splendor of the site of the location, like Donata Castle, Lindisfarne, so many other wonderful locations that we've gone to. In Portugal, we went to some beautiful beaches. Everything is down a cliff. Great going downhill. But eventually, you have to turn around and go back uphill to make it out. You understand what I'm saying? All right, so we made about halfway back up the hill. Two thirds. We're tired. Two thirds, a little tired, so we stopped. We stopped. Take a break, no reason to rush. Besides, look at the scenery, if you can see it. Just beautiful scenery, why rush? We'll take our time. Eventually, we'll make it back to the car. Then we're gonna head back to Belfast to get some dinner before taking a road back down to Dublin. With rolling hills, endless farmland, and a rugged coastline, Northern Ireland is a beautiful location for a visit and a wonderful place for anyone who's interested in nature and just outdoor experiences. Hey, if you like this content, be sure to like and subscribe and follow along with us as we continue our journeys, as we continue to tour the world.